Hi, my name is John Gimmons, I'm a sports osteopath, and today I'm going to demonstrate manipulation of the upper cervical complex, in particular C1 and C2, and I'm going to use Nick Jones, who's an osteopath in my clinic. When we are going to manipulate, then it's important that we've done a VBI test, so a vertebral um, artery test, which I've already done, and it was clear. And to manipulate C1 and C2, we can find the spineless process, and the mechanics of the neck are quite intricate, and C2 downwards, a side bending to the left will follow a rotation to the left, it's called a type 2. So if you do want to cavitate a joint in the neck from C2 down, then you have to encourage a side bend in one way, but the rotation has to be the opposite side. And that's how you induce what we call a coupled uh, motion to induce the tension point. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to have a, a quick assessment of the joints in here, and I can do a side bending or I can do a, a translation test, and on this left side, it doesn't feel like it doesn't want to move, if you like. It's a bit more technical than that, um, in comparison to the right side. I can, if I was to flex the head and rotate his neck to the left, it seems easier than rotating to the right. So there's a bind, yes, the SEM is kicking in, but maybe the C1 and C2 is restricted, so I'm going to perform a cavitation to that joint. When you learn the cavitation, the idea of the facet orientation is towards the opposite eye. So what we have to try to do is, using this joint, where the metacarpal, if you like, um, meets the, the phalanx, so I'm going to side bend, relax, so I'm going to side bend into my finger, and I'm going to start to induce a rotation. There's the, the lock in, in that position there. So when I feel happy, I'm not going to do anything yet. The cavitation is going to go towards its opposite eye, and it's all about the speed. So this is a grade five manipulative technique, but I would call it the HVT. Nick, are you okay for me to do this? So you need to get permission prior to performing the technique. So if you watch again, I'm going to side bend, and I'm going to rotate. We can play around with levers in here, but because I've done this so many times, there's the lock, when the thrust is, and then hopefully when I retest, and I test inflection, rotation, we have pull, range of motion. You feel okay? Very good. Good. My name is John Gibbons. I am a sports osteopath and if you want to learn how to perform some techniques then look on www.johngibbonsbodymaster.co.uk. Thank you for watching.